Hello, I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Thank you for joining us for another discussion in our continuing monthly series where we interview experts from our school. Our experts are leaders helping to shape the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems. Today we're going to be talking about undergraduate education and especially about our newly approved program in biomedical sciences. Joining us today is Dr. Bradley Newcomer, inaugural director of our Biomedical Sciences undergraduate program. Brad has been at UAB for more than 15 years where he was the founding director of the Experiential Learning Scholars Program, served as director of the Global and Community Leadership Honors Program, and most recently led the transition of the UAB Honors Academy into the UAB Honors College, where he oversaw an increase in enrollment of almost 39%. There is nobody on this campus who understands the needs of exceptional undergraduates any better than Brad. Brad, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me here today. This term biomedical sciences, I think when people hear that, they at least have some sense of what biomedical sciences is, yet at the same time, there aren't many programs in biomedical sciences. So could you give us a sense of what your definition of biomedical sciences is? Biomedical Sciences is uh, a new program here at UAB that builds off of a strong foundation in the basic sciences and allows these undergraduate students to focus their undergraduate education in the health sciences. So they can take the basic biology and chemistry and the foundational sciences and apply that knowledge into uh, real world problems within a clinical setting and to better understand human health, wellness, and disease. When I read descriptions of the program that are in the marketing materials, it talks about how this program and these courses are human-based and clinically focused. Could you tell us what you mean by that? Yeah, this program allows these undergraduate students to customize and tailor their undergraduate coursework to the focused study of human health, wellness, and disease. So it allows them to focus and apply their previous coursework in biology, chemistry, physics, and you know, the basic you know, sciences to real world, clinically relevant problems. Uh, we allow them to focus on uh, clinically relevant case studies and problem-based learning scenarios so that these students have the ability to apply that knowledge to real world problems that they will you know, experience when they go on to professional and graduate school. As I was looking at the curriculum, I noticed a couple of things that interested me. One of them was that students in the biomedical sciences program will be taking courses in many disciplines across the campus. Could you tell me something about why you think that's an important thing for the students and what students gain as an advantage from doing that? That's a, a huge value added benefit to this program. Uh, it allows us to create and tailor a program that builds off of the strengths of the individual academic units around campus. So it allows us to have our program built on a strong core curriculum foundation in the liberal arts and sciences that the College of Arts and Science is well positioned uh, to provide these students. And then it allows us to layer on top of that strong core curriculum our advanced coursework that focuses on the human systems anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, and all of those uh, advanced kind of biomedical science type of courses and curriculum components that allows them to build a strong understanding. I also noticed that the students will be taking six electives as part of their major. Why are you giving the students so much discretion in the major? Um, why aren't you dictating or uh, specifying which specific courses they need to do. Do you think there's a value in giving them that room to work? The main advantage is it allows our students to customize their undergraduate education. So it allows them to not only have a strong core curriculum foundation in you know, the liberal arts and sciences and then to have specialized training in the biomedical sciences, but it allows them to layer in advanced coursework through those electives, of various minors um, from across the campus so that they can create an individualized educational experience when they graduate. So it allows them to set themselves apart from the pack, so to speak. And it also allows them to integrate coursework and various types of educational opportunities that 
will help them get to whatever uh, professional or graduate program that they are headed towards. During your introduction, I mentioned the fact that you had a lot of experience with honors programming here on the UAB campus. Could you tell us how that those experiences in the honors program are informing and improving the biomedical sciences degree program that you've designed? That past experience is integral to what we have attempted to create uh, with this program. For, you know, in my many years of dealing with these high ability students, one of the things that I've noticed is that these high ability students want to be able to individualize and customize their academic experience. They don't want to be told what courses to take and have a one-size-fits-all academic program. So having those 18 semester hours and that ability to combine our major in biomedical sciences with various minors across campus is critical. Okay? It allows these students to make their own individualized path. The other thing that I've noticed over the years is this current generation of students, especially these high ability students, they do not thrive as well in the traditional lecture-based learning environment that we all experienced many years ago when we were in college. As we have constructed this new program, we have worked intentionally to build in opportunities for students to uh, apply the knowledge through clinically based simulations, uh, especially with the critical care simulation laboratory that we have on campus here. We also are bringing in clinicians and practitioners from around campus to bring in real world clinical case studies that these students will be required to integrate into their coursework in terms of assignments and uh, kind of wrestling with these complex clinical problems. So these are the types of things that these high ability students are looking for. They're not looking for just learning content, but they want to know why they're learning certain things, why they're being asked to do certain assignments, and how does that relate to their future. And we have designed this program specifically to meet those needs and be attractive to those kind of students. This is a very challenging curriculum. What type of students are you looking for as potential students for this program and what should they expect in return for the energy and the effort that's going to be required to complete this very rigorous curriculum? We are specifically looking for students that are interested in progressing into a health professions career, uh, whether it's entering the workforce as a biomedical scientist or whether they are going on to professional or graduate health professions, you know, graduate study. So we're looking for students that are wanting that basic science kind of undergraduate curriculum layered with this advanced biomedical science human-based study of anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, things of that nature. Um, so we're also looking for students that are independent learners, okay, that don't want an educational experience where it's just rote memorization and you know kind of giving that information back to the instructors on tests or through papers. So we want students that can learn on their own certain amounts of content but then want that experience and that help learning how to apply this information because we are in a knowledge economy now. We need to be training students that can take information and apply it and learn on the fly in the clinic environment or in the health professions arena. On its face it seems like many students would, our potential students, would see the biomedical sciences curriculum as a pre-med. Uh, preparatory program or for that matter pre-physical therapy, pre-physician assistance, pre a number of health professions. For the student though who doesn't want to go on into a graduate based professional education program or for that matter doesn't want to do graduate studies uh, in order to move forward in a research career, for example pursuing a PhD, what would a student with a biomedical sciences degree who decides to enter the workforce directly after receiving that degree do? We are creating some signature electives within this program and within our department, specifically in the biotechnology area. So a lot of these students, um, if they elect to take those certain courses, will have the skills and the foundation to be laboratory technicians or basic laboratory assistants within government labs, the CDC, research labs around the country. 
um, working in industry, working in the pharmaceutical industry, working in the medical device industry. I mean, there are opportunities for these graduates. Uh, the majority of graduates in these types of programs throughout the country do go on to professional or graduate studies in the health professions, but the ones that do enter the workforce right after their undergraduate degree tend to be very successful within these laboratory-based pharmaceutical uh, or biomedical industries. Brad, once again, uh, thank you for joining us today and sharing your expertise with us and telling us all of these exciting things about this new biomedical sciences program. Thank you. If you would like more information about the biomedical sciences program, visit uab.edu slash bmd. If you have specific questions for Dr. Newcomer and for the program, you can also reach them with an email addressed to bmd at uab.edu. If you would like more information about our school, please visit our website at www.uab.edu slash shp. Or if you would like to leave us a message, you can send that message to uab.edu slash shp slash contact. Thank you again for your time and for joining us. I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the UAB School of Health Professions, where we are committed to tailoring innovative research and educational solutions to solve real-world problems.